What exactly is premium economy? Is it just a normal economy seat with some extras thrown in, like free check bags? And how does it differ from extra legroom seats that you might find on Main Cabin Extra on American, Economy Plus on United and Delta Comfort? Well, Premium Economy is an entirely different cabin and fare class from your standard economy, and it sits pretty squarely between economy and business class. Now, the above mentioned products from American, United and Delta are just your regular economy seats with some added benefits, like a few extra inches of legroom. Premium economy is a solid step up from that and features an entirely different or new hard product, as the industry says, or basically an entirely different physical seat. So let's take a closer look at premium economy. Hey everyone, my name is Ben and welcome back to Explore Informed, where we dig into the details of travel so that the next time you go exploring, you can go a little bit better informed. Today, we're hoping to provide a brief overview of premium economy, and we'll focus on discussing one, how it is different than your regular old standard economy seat. And in doing so, we'll hopefully also show you how it measures up to business class. Now, obviously, a fully kind of lie flat business class seat is still light years better than your premium economy seat. But premium economy still presents a kind of nice alternative to economy without having to pay a several thousand dollar business class fare. We're gonna take a look specifically at United Airlines and their premium economy product called Premium Plus. Now I'm going to assume that if you've ever flown on a plane before, you know what a regular economy or kind of main cabin seat looks like. So kind of take a mental image or picture of that and then compare it to this. United's new premium economy seat. As you can see, a true premium economy seat is really miles better than your standard plain Jane regular economy. It is a much, much wider seat, offers much more legroom, offers more recline, and also kind of separates you a little further from your seatmates, which I think is really an underrated benefit. I don't really wanna sit right next to elbow to elbow someone else. Now, United's premium economy seat, and we're gonna call premium economy PE, their PE seat also features a leg or footrest. So in other words, imagine basically a domestic first class seat, like you might find on a 737, for example, with a leg rest added, and then instead dropped on a long haul aircraft and called premium economy. That's basically what you get with some extra kind of soft services added in. So where can you find a true premium economy cabin? Well, you aren't going to find premium economy on short haul aircraft. Premium economy is designed to be a long haul product and will primarily be featured on long haul aircraft flying transoceanic routes. For United, PE is being featured on some newly delivered aircraft, but it's also being retrofit onto existing aircraft as a new premium economy cabin. United's PE product can be found fairly widely on their 772 aircraft and their 773s. Now, all 18 of United's 773s already have premium economy, and 29 of their 51 772s have premium economy as well, at least as of this month. So if you find yourself on a long haul flight on United on a 777, odds are you will see a premium economy cabin on board. However, kind of the good news I guess is that these long haul aircraft do occasionally fly the occasional shorter domestic route. I flew in a premium economy seat this week in fact on one of American's 789s or 787-900 between Dallas and Chicago. American 787s are operating one or two flights per day between these two cities, and on these flights, you can basically select a seat in the PE cabin at the kind of equivalent cost of main cabin extra. Again, that's their extra legroom product. So if you have elite status on American and can select main cabin extra for free, you can experience a true premium economy product on a short haul flight at no additional cost. Now you might be asking, what are the other benefits of premium economy in addition to just a different seat? Well, United offers one upgraded dining and free alcoholic beverages. Think of something a little bit closer to business class dining than your standard economy dining. You also get a better entertainment experience with a larger screen and some noise reducing headphones, as well as extra qualifying miles and extra qualifying segments. Further, you're gonna get two free check bags, premier access, so a small leg up on security and boarding. You're gonna get discounted United Club access if you're going to pay for it and reserved overhead bin space up here. But perhaps the most natural question is what does premium economy cost when compared to just plain Jane economy? 
let's take a look at a couple examples. On a round trip flight out in February between Newark and Frankfurt, United offers as many as five different fare options. Premium economy lands around $800 more than the cheapest economy fare, basic economy, which remember is pretty restrictive, and lands about $1,000 shy of your full business class. But this route honestly seemed to be kind of the outlier compared to two others that I looked at. For the same dates between San Francisco and Taipei, the cheapest economy fare came in at $677. Premium economy was nearly $1,200, but business was as high as $4,800. So in this case, premium economy is much, much closer to economy pricing than it is business class pricing. And I saw the same thing between San Francisco and London, with premium economy coming in at $1,300, while economy and business class were 500 and 4,500 respectively. So premium economy does price out at a hefty premium over standard economy, but it's often much, much, much cheaper than business class. So in looking at the product and the associated pricing, I think premium economy presents a pretty interesting value proposition and in many circumstances is well positioned and I think it's a pretty attractive offering for the price. Now I hope this brief primer about premium economy was helpful and next time you go to book a long haul flight you feel a little bit better informed about premium economy. As usual you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Explore Informed or you can visit us on the internet at exploreinformed.com. And feel free to hit the subscribe button down over here if you want to catch more of our content in the future. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.